Welcome back to the Tech Zone, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install CXMB 3.3 onto a custom firmware PSP. Uh, what is CXMB exactly? It is a neat little plugin that allows you to install custom themes onto your PSP. So there are two links in the description. One leads to here, and the other one leads to the themes website. So you're going to download CXMB 3.3 with 5.00 support. Uh, it's not such a big file. And once done, you have to open it with WinRAR. And you go in here. You're going to go on to Light because you don't need the full. Um, then over here, you're going to get these three files. You're going to plug your PSP in. And then you're going to copy CXMB to the root of your memory stick. This is over here. Uh, just copy this PSP folder and replace whatever is in there. PSP, uh, game. Uh, sorry, it's in PSP theme, and you would get random.cdf. Now this is where you're gonna store your C uh, CTF type themes in here. Um, and then over here, SC plugins. You're just gonna be gonna copy that VSH. .txt into your SC plugins folder. If you don't have vsh.txt, then you can create one or copy this one. So once you're done with that, you just finished installing, but now you need to get a theme. To get a theme, you can just go to this website and um, to change the PSP version because now by default it is 5.50 gen. To change it, you just go to PSP version, change firmware, and click 5.00 M33. Once done with that, you can just go to gallery and search for the themes you want. And now I picked Alien World 2009. So scroll down and click download CTF file. And they would ask you to save the file, but I already saved it. It's over here. And now what you're going to do is go to PSP theme and you're going to copy this Alienware file to here. Okay, can close that. And now that is done. And now I'm going to show you how to in the, enable CXMB on your PSP. Okay, so now I have my PSP here. And um, now what you are going to do, I already have it enabled, but I'll show you how. You're going to reset your PSP and hold the R button just hold it until this one comes up you're gonna go to plugins and you're gonna enable cxmb.prs I don't know if you can see it that well if you see it, just enable that and you're gonna exit If you already have a theme in it, it'll automatically enable it for you, but if it doesn't come up, what you're going to do is go to theme, and there are your themes. Now, this is the one I just downloaded, Alienware. I'm going to apply. It should restart. That's quite nice. So there we are. Our new theme. Okay, I didn't really understand this. Oh, okay. So here are my games. Let's check out the game boot. Okay, I'll just select the game, whatever is here. Okay, not bad. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. Um, um, if you enjoyed my videos, why don't you subscribe for more great tutorials? And um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.